Well, I am um, an enrolled member of the Muscogee Nation, and I'm also Choctaw and Chickasaw. And on my father's side, I am Lenape. So in reality, you know, uh, lineage-wise or blood-wise, I would be, you know, mainly Lenape. But our tradition, and I've, I've always followed this, is we go with our mothers. So uh, I am Muscogee. So my grandmother's Muscogee, my mother's Muscogee, and on down the line, right? We're all Muscogee. I wanted to, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about music. I, um, you know, some of my experience, some of my training came in in very musical environments. Although I'm not a musical person, but <laughs> but you know, when I was when I was involved in you know, learning from Shango priestesses and then also learning from revivalist mothers and healers in Jamaica. All of the ceremonies uh, were conducted with chanting and music and drumming for hours. And then when I became trained as a firekeeper in the uh, Lakota Anipi sweat lodge tradition, um, again, it's all, you know, chanting and or playing instruments is a big part of the healing. And then of course the Seminole tradition, very much like your Muscogee tradition uses healing songs to heal people. And I, I, I now belong to um, uh, the Two-Spirit drum here in the Bay Area. And so I'm learning how to sing those songs. Um, and it's gotten me thinking a lot more about music the role of music in healing. And I know that you are uh, trained or working with the gong. And so I just wanted to ask you um, what, he, what the role of music is in your healing work or any, anything you wanna say about the role of, of music in healing. Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, I love the gong, I really do. And again, you know, that's a percussive instrument. So it's, it's really a big drum, right? A me big metal drum. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I, you know, and I do think that those vibrations have an impact on us. I really do. And, um, and I think it's also very intuitive too. <laughs> Because when you're gonging, you're actually in tune with the gong, right? What the gong is, is saying, but you're also in tune with the people who are around the gong. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's never just like a one-way thing that's happening. It's a dynamic. There's a flow, right, that's happening. And uh, if you're gonging, you, you have to be in tune with the people if you're gonging in a way that's making them uh uncomfortable or or uh, uh agitated you have to be aware of that right and you know and i can't say i'm a master of the gong i'm not but those are things that i'm i'm uh learning about it and uh you know there's there's so much to learn there really is, you know, and, and as we practice, we get more, more experiences to uh, help us understand better how these things work, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I love, you know, the songs that people sing in the sweat, and, you know, I love that kind of using our voices, right? Because I think our voices do have power. And they do, um, they do help us connect with one another and um, bring that energy into focus for what we are singing about. And it brings it into focus. And it, you know, it can be those hymn singing, you know, it can be those, um, it can be any kind of music, really, that is bringing us together and uh, creating that uh, sense of uh, 
well, I'll just say healing dynamism into our bodies. And sound does that. Movement does that. You know, we we dance, you know, and people dance for hours on end, right? And days on end. And, you know, that creates a certain kind of um, different level of consciousness where we can see things in a in a transformative way. So all of those things are very necessary as we move into, you know, these healing arts. And um, again, you know, I think that we are, we are those conduits and we do have these long traditions, you know, and everyone has them, you know, that's what's interesting, you know, every tradition that you've named you know, we all have similar kinds of things as human beings that we work with, you know, whether it's sound and dance, voice, um, you know, um, being able to sense energy around people, being able to see what's going on with someone, being able to um, extract things that are uh, causing people problems, you know, whatever, you know, that Every, I, I don't know of any culture that doesn't have that in their, their history. It's part of our, our human, our, our human heritage. Um, and why we've let it go, I'm not sure. <laughs> Other than, you know, there's certain people who uh, would like us not to know. 